Hi, right, welcome back to Motor Performance. I'm Mike, behind the camera is Jay. Today we are talking about this. Let's get that one off and the remus on. So as you can see, they don't actually sound too bad. Inside the cabin, you get a lot of fake noise and outside, it's average, it's not really M and they get swallowed up, especially by cars in the UK, by OPF filters and catalytic converters. So on the floor, we have a completely standard M3-4 system. And then next to it, we have what we fit into our G82 M4. So a few things I just want to show you out. So basically the Rima system is what they class as a modular system. So you can pick and choose how far you want to go. Now, we did a video with Shmi, probably a few months back, we actually had the prototype development exhaust system and he went through complete cat off, OPF off, and the race rear box. I wouldn't really advise that. You know, it is massively loud and it will drone. You've got to remember that Shmi doesn't use that car as a daily. It's something he just has as a showcase. He's got plenty of other things he can use as a daily. We're going to do it first of all on our cars we're actually going to start with opf back so i'll show you where that is so i don't jay can probably pan down now so factory exhaust system remus you can see the size difference in the in the silencers you can see how the valve system works on the back so we're actually going to be basically doing from here back there are your two opf filters so we'll remove that center silencer move that whopping big unit of a thing and replace it with this so you can see when the valve is open it will bypass the box as you can see the valve here on the standard one goes into it and has these two sort of resonators in the back just to bring it down. So when you're in efficient mode or have the valve closed, it will run through the box. And when it's open, it'll run through the box and on the outside as well. If we go further back, so here again, you can class it as I said, it's modular. So you can go to do from here back. So axle back, OPF back, which is where we're going to do. So we're going to remove this center silencer. I also believe later this week we have an M3 back in or another M3 in, should I say, for just the axle back. So there will be videos we'll do on that one as well. It won't be on this vlog. You can do cat back so you can see here on the uk car we have the two opf filters so you could do from here all the way back and then if you wanted to have the same system as me you can remove the cats my advice is go with this first of all and you can always add it's very difficult to then fit back on so these are the most popular ones in the uk we only get the m4 comp so we only have a dark tail up to start with they do offer the chromes i don't know if we're going to list them because i don't think anybody's interested full carbon titanium Mix with the both, gloss black and the carbon. This works really well because a lot of the cars have gloss black and carbon pack. Um, so obviously it's a nice sort of between the two. But my favorite, obviously the exclusive one to us, gloss black, satin black internal, very factory OEM. These are all at 102 mil, nothing bigger. The factory size is pretty good on the original one, but as you can see, it's just horrendous, you know, to look at from behind the car. So anyway, let's get it fitted and get some sound clips. Right, so as you can see, the old one is off, OPF back. So yet again, to keep all the emissions in place, GPF and catalytic converters have been kept in this system. So two cats, 
two GPFs, no need for mapping, no need for delete plugs. We're gonna go from here backwards. So there was normally a res box, remove that all the way through, remove that huge big box, these two small resonator, finish it off with the gloss back towel pipes. The whole thing just looks a load better, very factory plus. You can stagger these towel pipes a little bit as well if you've got more aggressive diffuser. Um, quite like how it is at the minute. We'll drop it down the floor, get some sound clips, and then uh, see what we think from that. Right, so as you can see, the drive-bys are brilliant. We've had the system on maybe 10, 15 minutes, done a bit of a drive, it's definitely louder. What's really good is when the valve is open, you're obviously pulling away and you can hear it in one of the video clips, you get a nice sort of snap from the exhaust. Yet again, all the OPFs and the cats are in place in this car. This is probably about as loud as you're actually gonna get it until you start removing them. I'm gonna keep it as it is. For me, using this occasionally as a daily is perfect. I don't want anything to be too over the top. I've still got to wake up and drive out past my neighbors and I've still got to go to the gym occasionally, go to Starbucks, whatever I do in the car, still got to be used. This is the perfect daily system for me. Like I said earlier in the vlog, we've actually got another car coming in tomorrow, which will actually be in another video. I don't think it'll be a vlog, but another video of just the axle back. So without the res it'd be interesting to see that. One thing I'm gonna just quickly just talk about as well is the car's actually gone through a few transformations before uh, to where we are now, should we say. We had the IBAX on and we fitted the carbon kit. And there was nothing wrong with that, no problem at all, but we decided to take it off and go a little lower. So we had the GTS front done for ourselves in carbon by a company called uh, Stardale Designs in America. We've now had the gloss black fiberglass version. Now, the carbon fiber is expensive, so you don't want the car too low. So yet again, the IBAX work perfectly for that. But if you want that lower look, and obviously now sitting on H&Rs. And what we're trying to do here as a business is offer us often like a factory OEM plus and then something a bit more aggressive. This clearly looks like a modified car now, where before on the IBACs it looked very factory plus. So to give you different options, yet again, with the exhaust, we do the sports and the race. If you want the res delete, if you don't want the res delete, there's different things that we can accommodate with. So going front to back, gloss black front, pipe across drop-in panel footage, which are due to change. Carbon air boxes on their way. We just added the H&Rs, still the 10 mil space and setup. And we've also added the max and size. Something a little bit different. Like I said, we had the gloss carbon fiber onto it, the M performance style, which looked great, very factory plus. Now we've gone slightly lower. Wanted obviously to just emphasize that and by having a deeper side skirt as well. Still wanted something on the side of the car. And one last thing we've also had fitted was the uh, ducktail carbon wing from Auto ID. So yet again, because it's a carbon packed car, you can get away with adding the gloss black and carbon. So it still looks pretty good. So the next things are on it is the intakes. They are on their way. And then it will be the MW2 wheel, which will be a completely different vlog. There'll be 21 inch, 20 inch forged wheels going on this. Black tail pipes yet again, just look great. I mean, this car looks modified now. We had the factory plus look, and now we've gone for the modified look. And then we saw some of the wheels coming onto it. It'll be even more modified. So let us know so far what you think of the sound and so far the car.